Hello guys, welcome to Tips, a platform for textile problems and solutions. Now we are going to learn about the numericals based on tensile testing. A 225 denier viscose yarn has a breaking strength of 7.5 Newton. The yarn tenacity in setting Newton upon DCTX is asked. So the solution becomes yarn tenacity in setting Newton per DCTX we want. So given that it is 225 denier, by dividing it by 0.9 we will get 250 DCTX. And breaking strength is also given in 7.5 Newton. To convert it to centinewton, it is multiplied by 100 so that it will be 750 centinewton. So the yarn tenacity will be 750 upon 250, that is 3 centinewton upon DCTX. The breaking load of 300 millitex fiber is 110 millinewton. If the density of fiber is 1.24 gram per centimeter cube, breaking stress in kilonewton upon centimeter square accurate to one decimal place is asked. So given that, Force is 110 millinewton. We want in kilonewton, so it is converted to 110 into 10 power minus 6 kilonewton. And fineness is 300 millitex. To convert it to tex, it becomes 0.3 tex. And density is given as 1.24 gram per centimeter cube. With the given data, we will arrive area by using tex equals to area into 10 power 5 into density. So with that, area will be 2.419 into 10 power minus 6 centimeter square. We know that stress equals to force upon area. Breaking stress is also like that. So substituting force and area in the formula, we will get the breaking stress value as 45.47 kN upon cm square. The tenacity of two-fold yarn is 1.1 times the tenacity of its single component yarn. The breaking load of two-fold yarn is x times the breaking load of its single component yarn. Neglecting length contraction due to twist, the value of x accurate to one decimal place is asked. So solution becomes, let us assume tenacity of single yarn is T1 and tenacity of two-fold yarn is T2. Similarly, breaking load of single yarn is L1 and breaking load of two-fold yarn is L2. So given that, T2 equals to 1.1 times T1 and L2 equals to X times L1. We know that tenacity equals to breaking load upon linear density. So let us assume linear density of a single yarn is T and then linear density of two-fold yarn will be 2 times the T. So it will be T1 equals to L1 by T and T2 equals to L2 by 2T. Substituting T1 and T2 in, T2 equals to 1.1 times T1. So it will be 1.1 into 2, that value will be 2.2. Under a load of 500 centinewton, the extension of 300 millimeter length is 10%. If the elastic recovery is 90%, then the length of the yarn after removal of load is asked. So let us assume AB be the initial length of the yarn and BD be the extended length and C will be the final length after the removal of load. So given that initial length is 300 mm, extension is 10% that is 10 percentage of 300 that will be 30 mm. So the extended length will be 30 plus 300 that will be 330 millimeter. So Elastic recovery we know that it is CD upon BD multiplied by 100. So given that this recovery is 90% and BD will be 330 minus 300 as in the diagram that will be 30 mm. And substituting that in equation we will get the CD value as 27. We know that CD as per the diagram will be extended length minus final length. So substituting CD and extended length we know that. So the final length will be 330 minus 27 that will be 303 millimeter. 